Welcome back to the Empire of Dirt. Today we're going to see how much copper you can actually get out of an AC compressor. We have plenty of candidates behind me, but I'm going to do what I would consider an average size compressor to be. The first thing we have to do is get the oil drained out of it, and then we're going to weigh a compressor, see how much it weighs first, and then we'll cut it open and remove the copper and weigh the copper. This is what I use to remove the oil from the compressors. I got a table set up here with a drain. This drill bit bores a hole in the bottom of the compressor and allows the oil to drain out into the tray and then it goes through a tube into this tank back here. This table just has a drill press welded on the bottom of it and we added oil seals in the neck and then a boot to keep it from leaking nothing too fancy and then that has a drain that comes out the back and goes into the tank We also have, up above, is a gantry crane, so we don't have to break our backs moving the compressors across. We center the compressor over the drill bit. And then we take and run the drill up until it goes through the bottom of the compressor. Lift it up, set it over so we can take the next one and set it on there. You can see the hole in the bottom of the compressor that the oil drains out of. Then we just take them and set them right back on the pallet. Once I've drilled all these compressors, I mark them with uh, just blue road marker paint just so I know which ones have been drilled and which ones haven't. I typically will come in here after work and drill a compressor set and then I'll cut a set. The next thing we're going to do is weigh this compressor. So I have my refrigerant scale. This should go up enough in weight. I believe this one limits at 100 pounds. So 
So we're sitting at 70 pounds, five ounces. Okay, so once we have them all drilled, we move them over to the other station. So let me do that real quick. got these moved over I have another pallet sitting on the drill table so we can get those drilled out now we're gonna take our compressor and split the case I've got a I think this is a 40 amp plasma cutter it's a 10 year old um, machine from Harbor Freight that I've had for a long time surprisingly for cheap Chinese garbage that's a that's a heck of a plasma cutter um, this is just a exhaust hood that we taped up out of insulation board and then we have a squirrel cage fan in here wired up and that goes outside the building and then to lift and lower these compressors. This is just a, uh, I'm pretty sure this was a Harbor Freight. Yeah, this is a Pittsburgh winch too. Same as the other one that we have up there. That winch is, I believe a 600 pound winch or a 450. And this one's a 2000 pound winch, but this one I got for free out of the scrap pile and the other one I bought. So, we also have the ground we also have the ground for the plasma cutter run up and through here and up to the plasma cutter and that way as soon as we lift these compressors they're grounded the uh, screw that notches into this there's a I don't know if you can see it there's a roller bearing in there that this shaft is welded to and there's a spring behind it that compresses when you have weight on it. So let's get our compressor. This just notches right on there. I don't think I can do this one handed. What I do is I turn this around to our weld because we're going to start our cut here and it'll come back to this weld. And then I use the notches in the table. I use the notches in the table here to center the compressor. It doesn't have to be exact. So what we do we cut all the way around the bottom, then we come back to this weld, we split up the side here and halfway around the top. And that releases the winding because the winding's actually held in here with uh, tension. It's pressed into the case. But once you cut that halfway around, this case will open up. It just needs to open up about a quarter of an inch and the winding drops right out. So let me get the exhaust fan turned on.
you can actually see that pop. That pop is from the winding dropping down. And you can actually see on this compressor where this weld is, is one of these flat sides on the winding. Okay, so now that that's cut, you can see how fast that plasma cutter runs around there. You can see also where that weld is lines up perfectly with one of these flat sides and that makes it to where you can cut it and the plasma cutter doesn't blow back on you. If you get on one of these it won't cut very well. You can see this is why we only have to cut it halfway around at the top. Once you split up the side and go halfway around it releases the pressure that's holding that winding in and it just drops out. Once the winding is loose, all you have to do is lift it off. Some of these counterweights on these armatures is brass and you can knock that off with a hammer. And that's what you're left with. All right, so now that we have them to this point, the next thing is to remove the copper from the field housing. You have your steel that you can sell for seven, eight, ten cents a pound, whatever prepared iron is going for. So, this process, I use an air chisel, nothing fancy. I did grind the ears off of it on both sides so it's, it fits in your hand a little bit better. I hold this air chisel like this because it's a little easier on your wrist. Um, this is just a half moon bit. It's cut flush. It's cut flush on one side and curved on the other. And then I just keep it nice and sharp and we run around this winding and remove this half. Okay, so the next thing we do from the cutting station there, we bring it over here to the puller, and then we'll pull the winding out. All right. So this slides in here, and then we have a hydraulic pump underneath this table that just supplies hydraulic fluid. This lever here runs this up and down. So you can clamp, you can actually get quite a bit bigger winding in here, but you do run into the back of the vise. So this clamps it. And once you have it clamped,
Okay, so that's what you're left with right there. And then you have this slug of iron that goes in the prepared iron. These are actually a bunch of these are actually a bunch of steel plates welded together. You can actually see the different layers in here. And then you get your pile of copper windings. So I'm going to grab I'm going to grab my scale and we'll get the windings weighed. Okay, so let's get these weighed. So the one half is about two pounds. This will all sit on here. So there you have it, six pounds, six ounces. I know there's a lot of different ways to process these compressors. I've seen people doing it with grinders, um, cutting torches. There's, there's a lot of different stuff you can get into those compressors with. That's the most efficient way that I've found. Um, I'm still looking for a little bit more efficient way to cut the half of the winding off. But that's the best way I've found for now, so it's working. If you made it this far in the video, thanks for watching. I hope it helps somebody out. Like and subscribe. It helps the channel. And I'll see you on the next one.